and welcome to Mazak's National Technology Center in Florence, Kentucky. My name is Jared Like, and I'm the Machining Center Product Group Manager here in Florence. My name is Nathan Vickers and I'm an application engineer here. All right, first we would like to start off and explain a little bit more about our HCN 5000 behind us along with our multi pallet pool system or our MPP system. We'll start off by discussing a few of the benefits to a horizontal machining center. One of the biggest benefits we see is effective chip evacuation. When you're using a horizontal platform, it's a lot easier for the chips to use gravity to fall and you don't have to worry about machining over chips uh, like you do on a, horizontal, or on a vertical machining center. Also, quick tool change time and the number of tools is a large benefit uh, to most customers. Also, something important to note is feed rate of a horizontal machining center, in most cases, is a lot faster than, than a vertical machining center. It could even be twice as fast. Next, I'm going to talk about some of the available options on this machine to increase your productivity. These machines, the HCN 5000, come standard with a 12,000 RPM spindle and 40 tools. As shown here, we have our 14,000 RPM high torque spindle along with 120 tools. Our spindles come in CAT40, CAT40 Big Plus, and HSK63 options. To dive a little deeper into our tool capacity options, we offer a 40, 60 tool drum. We also offer an 80, 120, and 160 tool chain magazine. And then we offer a tool hive options where you can have 204, 240, 288, 312, or 348 tools. These tool hive options are expandable up until 348 tools. I also want to mention the spindle options on this machine. As I previously stated, this machine has our 14,000 RPM high torque spindle. This spindle is 50 horsepower and has a max torque of 223 foot-pounds. We also offer an 18K spindle for aluminum and non-ferrous materials which is 47 horsepower and 124 foot-pounds of torque. A few other machine features I'd like to point out is we offer a one degree table as standard, which you would have 360 positions. And we also offer a full NCRT or rotary axis. Our rotary axis, our B axis on this machine uses a roller gear cam design. And I would also like to point out that our max pallet load is over 1500 pounds. Another important feature of this machine is the four cone clamping on the table. So our table clamping is over 16,000 pounds of force. So this allows you to machine very high in the Y or very low in the Y, and you still have the same rigidity. Also, it is important to note the chip to chip time and the weight pocket that is associated with our tool chain magazines. Next, I'd like to talk about some automation options that we have to help increase your productivity. First, I will talk about single machine automations that Mazak offers. First and foremost, we have the two pallet changer. This is a very simple form of automation, but this can drastically help you increase your productivity and spindle utilization from a traditional vertical machining center. We also offer a six pallet changer and the multi pallet pool system, which is behind me. I will get into more detail on the MPP in a few minutes. We also offer, also offer automation systems for multiple machines. These would be the Mazatec Palatech systems or Mazatec SMS. You've seen the Mazatec SMS earlier in our Kentucky production facility. Our Palatech systems are great linear systems and can have multiple machines or even different types of machines. So on to a little bit more about the MPP system behind me. A very nice feature to this MPP system is it's all ran through our Smooth G control. There is not a separate cell controller and everything is made and manufactured by Mazak. Another important feature is the floor space. If you do not have room for a long linear system or maybe you only want one machine automated, the MPP is a great solution. The MPP behind me has 10 pallets but also has the ability to be expanded to 16 pallets. So it is a two level system. Now going into the specifications of the MPP behind me. 
So your max workpiece diameter is 31 and a half inches, the same as the machine. And also your max workpiece height is 39.37 inches, the same as the machine. We also are able to have the 50 or 1,543 pound uh, load capacity on the pallet in either the, the first level or the second level MPP, which is um, the same as the machine. Next, I'll turn it over to Nathan. So let's switch gears and talk about the live demonstration. The part that we are machining today is a prototype of a cylinder head. We have four main ops utilizing four pallets um, and fixtures. There's a total of 29 operations to complete the part. Let's go ahead and take a look at each of the op a little bit closer. Here you will see the robot going to the loading station to pick up the op 10 fixture. The robot will pivot around and place this fixture into the pallet changer of the machine, ready to be cycled in. All right, as mentioned here, this is our OP10. First operation that we're gonna be seeing here is a, a facing operation. We're using a three inch face mill. Next up here, um, this is gonna be the undercut for the dovetail on both sides. Uh, we're using a 1.75 inch dovetail cutter. Here you will see the pallet coming out of the machine for OP10. And this is a reminder that this is one of 10 pallets on this system. Okay, so this is our OP20. Uh, this is gonna be our rough and finish of the OD profile. Here we're utilizing a one inch end mill, full depth of cut, taking light radial cuts. This here is actually the one of the finishing passes. Next here, we're drilling the four portholes. Uh, we're utilizing a, a 1.25 inch special port drill. We're drilling this in one. Um, in okay, so next is gonna be um, rough and finishing the side relief. Uh, here we're using a, a six millimeter end mill. Fairly high speed application. All right, so here we went ahead and switched the pallet. Um, we are now on OP30. Uh, we're drilling this long eight inch hole. We already drilled 1.2, uh, 1.5 inches with our, our short drill. And now we're just chasing that, to finish out that eight inch long hole. So here um, is the jump to OP40. Um, this here, we're roughing our cavity with a 10 inch in, uh, 10 millimeter end mill. Next here, we will be um, utilizing a six millimeter ball to finish the cavity. And lastly, uh, we are gonna be uh, chamfering the OD edges utilizing a half inch chamfer.